I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Flak at bed frame with the two drawers. All this assembly gonna be in three parts. And today we have part three, when I'm gonna show you how to assemble storage drawers for this daybed. In a part two, you can see how it's done, the extending part of the daybed frame. And in a part one, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the main frame of IKEA Flak at bed. Let's do the part three now. And you're gonna have two storage drawers for this daybed. Side panels, four of these, back panels, two. And you're gonna have bottom panels. You're gonna have two set of rails and the support for the bottom of the drawer. Two of them. Bag number three, open it up. Good practice, put the same screws in the same place. You're gonna have a better idea of what you're working with. So we're doing two drawers at the same time. Here we're starting with the long screws with the stopper. So we secure two long screws on each side of the drawers. Go just till the stopper, not deeper or not higher, otherwise you're gonna have a problem to connect the side panels of the drawer. There we go, just till there. And we have the fronts done. Now we can do the side panels. You're gonna have four of these. You're gonna have two wooden plugs on each of the side panel. Place them in and secure it. Now we can put the locks in, you're gonna have plastic locks with a small arrow at the front, so the arrow always facing the hole at the front. Place them in and point the arrow to the front holes on all four of them. Now we can put two small screws, one in each of the front panels and the screw not gonna go all the way in, just enough to put the support for the bottom of the drawer in. So it's not rattling, but it's coming quite hard inside. That's how it's supposed to be. So don't screw the screw completely in. Leave like quarter millimeter out just for the rail to get in nicely. You can take it out once you've done that. Exactly the same on the second drawer. Check if the rail coming nicely in. It's tight enough, not rattling with the screw. And now we can secure the bottom panels. Here you're gonna have the holes for the outside and there is a gap on the inner side, which is gonna be on the inner side, I'm gonna explain in a moment how it's gonna all work. So that's how it is. You see the gap on the top of the side panel that have to be on the inner side. And that apply to all of these side panels on one and on the other side as well. So the plastic locks are on the outer side. Once you're in, just twist the lock to the right side, secure the connection. Exactly the same on the other side. The gap is gonna be on the inner side. That's where the back panel of the drawer gonna go on both place it in if you position the uh, locks in the right position you're gonna be okay here to secure it you see all four gaps on the inner side and just twist the locks to the right side electric screwdriver helpful here with the adjustable clutch and we can put the rails here that support for the drawer if it's not too tight just secure the screw and leave it in there exactly the same on the other one if it's a bit loose just secure the screw and uh, place the rail in now we can put the back panel regarding the supporting rail you can do that at the end or you can do it now here i'm doing it now but uh, if you have a problem to place the back panel bottom panel in just uh, do it after you can have an option for that so we place the back panel in the gap of the bottom panel and in the gaps on the side panels here two, two plastic plugs going to support it from the each side and the rail is supported at the back as well with one screw. Place the plastic plugs in. If you're going to do the rail on the middle first just watch out because you don't have the plastics in. You can put the plastic plugs in first and then secure the rail. Either way it works. All the holes are pre-drilled, so you're not gonna have a problem there with the supporting rail. On some drawers the hole is not pre-drilled, but in this case it's pre-drilled already. And exactly the same we're gonna do for the second drawer. We have the supporting rail in the middle, and this is the bottom panel coming nicely into the gap of the front panel. There we go, and now back panel gonna slide between the side panels. There's two gaps on the inner side of the slide panel. The rail is there. As I mentioned, you can do the supporting rail at after when you finish this, but 
in this case I just place it in they don't want to take it out anymore so that's you have option to do it now or after when you put the screw just watch out because there is not those plastic plugs securing the back panel so it can fall off so you can do the plastic plug first or the screw is up to you just watch out so it's not gonna fall off plastic plugs two on each side securing this connection from the side panels to the back panel here it is the other side exactly the same two plastic plugs just place them in and secure it with the hammer now we're gonna do the rails you're gonna have two rails so in a whole pack is four two is on the main frame and two for the drawer don't forget the wheel is always at the back you're gonna have a three screws with a flat head to secure this rail the flat head is there for a reason lining up nicely with the rail so it's not gonna scratch on the other side pointing the wheel is important a lot of people they asking why i cannot slide the drawer in because you put the wheel on the other side so it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to slide it in so just the wheel on the rail always at the back of the drawer so just place it in and secure it the second one with the three screws with the flat head make sure the heads are all the way in so when you are sliding opening the drawer you're not gonna hear the sound like metal on metal scratching against the, the other rail on the inner side in the frame here we're gonna have two plastics they're gonna support the back panel as well with the bottom panel of the drawer just secure it with the screw just place them in they kind of coming in in that gap and secure it with one screw which is already in that plastic and we're gonna do exactly the same for the second drawer you have two stickers two rubber stickers here that's just prevent the drawers against slamming when you're closing the drawer so it's gonna be a bit quieter as this is not self-closing hinge here Here exactly the same wheel at the back, straighten up the drawer, bottom panel and place the rail wheel at the back and we secure it with the three screws on each side. This small screwdriver here, useful for the small screws, if you like to see what I'm using in the video, what kind of tools, the links are in the descriptions. So here at the side exactly the same wheel on the rail at the back of the drawer and secured with the three screws. Once you're done, you put it on the back side of the drawer and secure the two plastics. Just slide them in into the gap and secure with the screw, which is already attached to the plastic. There it is, one side and the other side. And now we have the drawers ready, ready to go inside. Here, as the drawers are quite big, heavy, the key is to get the wheel over the wheel. Sometimes go easier, sometimes harder. The key is to put all both wheels at the same time in and you're not gonna have a problem with the sliding the drawer. Here you can see in the detail. So the wheel on one side over the wheel on the frame. This side is good, just like that. Wheel over the wheel. And on the other side exactly the same. As the drawer is big, you can do one side and the other side, or you can do both sides at the same time. Just get over the wheel. There's kind of two stopping points after the wheel. Just lift it up slightly and slide the drawer in. Once you want to take it out, just get over the wheel and you're going to be able to slide out the drawer. Just push it in or if you want to clean it behind it, sometimes the dust coming in. Just slide it out, easy to pull it out over it in and then position the drawer again in second drawer exactly the same here i'm gonna make a mistake i not uh, go over the wheel but i go on the top of the rail on the left side you're gonna see the you see the drawer is up so you're gonna see it straight away so just get back go over the wheel and slide it into the drawer you're gonna see the difference the drawer is gonna match nicely if you're in the right place and they're gonna slide it in and out nicely as well if you have a carpet, as in this case, the extending part sliding out a little bit uh, harder. If you have a, a wooden floor or laminated, it's very easy to slide just because of the carpet is holding up a little bit. So you may find it slightly harder to slide it out. It should be not too hard even on the carpet if you did everything right. And the last thing what we have to do here is um, the two mattresses. I'm going to show you how that work. You have to buy them extra wrapped like this. So just open the plastic, they are pressed, so you have to cut the plastic, open it up, it take a few hours till they extend completely. Once you open it up, there it is, second mattress. Okay, two mattresses here. So when you want to extend the bed, just open this part and open the mattresses. 
and when you want to close it just put the matrats in on the top of each other easy fix and close the bed in so that's how it is i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always it will make my day don't forget to check out part one and two when in the part one we did the mainframe of this ikea flag day bed and in the part two we're gonna do the extending part Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day and see you in my next one very very soon.